Hello, I'm Celeste of Hex and Arcane, and I'm here to host a movie tonight. Um, this is a really long movie, so you're not going to see as much of me, but I think it's worth watching because it's kind of a weird one. The movie that we're showing tonight is the 1966 The Witch. It's an Italian film. It's also known, like, the original title was translated to The Witch in Love. It's got a 6.5 on IMDb, so it's actually one of the better ones. So I think it's really worth watching if you give it a chance. It was based on a book, I believe, called Aura. Aura. Um, and it was, so there were a couple people that were considering making a film out of the novel. Aura by Carlos Fuentes. Um, Fuentes was not happy with this version when it was finally done. He said that the other two people that were considering making a film would have done a much better job. So it doesn't inspire much confidence. At the same time, like I said, it was rated pretty highly and this is an interesting one. And um, speaking about love, I realized, you know, because Morgan's always dating people and she's got stuff going on. I've been having kind of a dry spell and I was getting kind of lonely. And it's been a while since I like killed any, I mean, um, broke up with anybody. So I thought it would be time to put myself out there a little bit again. And I decided to do that by going on a an app. And I put a few pictures up there. I'm really excited to get some responses. So I'm going to check that in a little bit and see if anybody has anything nice to say or interesting to say. Or if we can go out and meet up and, um, you know, end up uh, deadly for one of us in the end. But at least it'll occupy my time for a while. I didn't mean that. I'm kidding. I would never kill anybody, especially people I was dating. It's never happened in the past. It will never happen in the future. Definitely not Morgan would ever do that either. That came out all wrong. That must be because I'm lying. Okay, Morgan would never do that either. That's what I was trying to say. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy this movie. I'm really excited to show it because, like I said, spring is in the air. I'm thinking about love, I'm thinking about witches, and it's time to watch The Witch in Love. Get started and I'll see you in the middle. Take me to the office now. Martha, 
Yes, sir, Jim? She's done again. Who, dear? That old lady. Who is she? No, but the last several days I keep running into her. I'm sure it's a coincidence. No, no. She's following me. How should she be following you? Will you tell me? Come on, sir. Do get dressed. It's late. Do you mind making the bed? Who, me? Yes, the maid's not coming in today. <sighs> oh, nice way to make up the bed. Come on, get up. I'll do it myself. Mm. What is it? Is the old lady put you in a bad mood? Yeah. Ah, she's disappeared. She is. Well, why not go over to her and ask her what she wants? Right. There you are. Ciao. Ciao. Sergio, why don't we get married someday? I'll think about it. I'm not you the idea. Do try to think about it. Ciao, dear. Alone. Would you put me up for a couple of weeks, Lorna? You know how I hate hotels, huh? And Marta? She kicked me out. But you're joking. No, oh, it's true, really. She got tired of me and tossed me out of my ear. I've got my things in the car. Excuse me, be right back. Who's that lady? Do you know her? No. What does she want? She was looking for a new thing. Uh, who's that woman you were talking to just now? The one in the white coat? Yes, a peculiar character, isn't she? If you ask me, she's a pain in the behind. Why? What did she want? Ah, she messed up the newsstand looking for an ad. But nothing. What was the ad? Something in the wanted column on the left page. Something bothering me. Ciao. See you later. Get lunch ready in the meantime. I will.
Hello? Nobody here? To your left. One more flight. Am I wrong? Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Come on up, Senor Logan. You know my name, Senor. Well, here we are. Face to face. Disappointed. Depends. Will you come in? My name is Consuelo Llorente. I consider sunlight the worst enemy of old things. Will you please sit down? No, I prefer to stand. Will you have a drink? All right. Nice quiet place you have here. You live alone? I'm a widow. And you haven't found any consolation yet? Why do you use that tone? Why have you been following me? I remember the first time I saw you was about a month ago in a restaurant near the Pantheon. Ever since then, everywhere I go, everywhere I look, I seem to see you. Isn't it just coincidence? Now, tell me, this advertisement is a coincidence as well. Wanted for cataloging manuscripts in a private library. A young graduate from the University of Salamanca, knowledge Spanish, English, and Arabic, bachelor with no family attachments, born in Rome of American parents. How many people have answered that? So far, you're the only one. Nobody else will. You know why? Because this advertisement describes me. It's true, I did follow you. My first impression was that you were the man I wanted, but I needed more information to know you better. Am I your type? Your profile is of no importance, and it does not have to be pleasing to me. You're here to work. What at? It's written in the advertisement. Nothing else. If you have no intention of accepting, why did you come? Hmm. Legitimate curiosity, I should think, since I was the object of such ardent attention. You'll be handsomely paid. How much? 300,000 lira a month. That's rather a low offer. I might raise it a bit. And besides, you'll have the best room in the palazzo. You mean I'm supposed to live here? Of course. It's better for work. Well, let's say 400,000 a month. Plus room and board, of course. Uh, for this kind of a job, twice as much wouldn't be enough, even three times as much. Young man, what are you driving at? Look, there aren't any manuscripts, and there isn't any library to be put in order. The only thing which needs putting in order is you, and that isn't quite my line of activity. You're quite vain, aren't you? <laughs> Vainer than I had imagined. If a woman interests herself in you, it is only because she wants to devour you. That's usually the case, as you should know, if you've been following me. <laughs> so far, I've seen you mainly devoured by young animals. And I don't intend to change. Ah, I'm sorry to squelch your vanity. I don't want a lover, but only someone to take care of those manuscripts. Because the library exists. Come, I'll show you. If you're looking for a library, you'd better get another man for the job. Sooner or later, someone will show up with the same qualifications as in that advertisement. I won't insist, but come and look at the library so that after leaving you may think anything of me, but not that I'm a liar. Your newly acquired friend won't run away. I'm only asking for a few minutes. This lift was put in by my husband. In his last years, he was getting old. He was most extraordinary, and his manuscripts are the only precious things I have left of him. They are the memoirs of our life, of mine and his. Do you see what state it's in? It needs putting in order. Why don't you call somebody else? 
<laughs> you think you're the first? It's a torment. There are few who are fit to do this work, much less the one I have now. You've already got a librarian? A brainless good for nothing, foolish and without will, who's only succeeded in making me loathe him. Why don't you give him the sack? Ah, uh, it's not easy making him leave. It's difficult. My main hope was that you would enable me to get rid of him. Uh, that's a bit much, isn't it? If you were to come here, he wouldn't behave like he was master. Well, what else did he do, apart from not cleaning up the library? The most important thing would be that of transcribing and arranging the parts my husband had sketched barely in the memoirs. You might as well know I couldn't do that. You're the right man for it, which is why I picked you. Don't think you'll have to work on some boring story, maudlin and sugar-coated, no. Mm -mm. Read a page. Just read at random. You're caught in a misunderstanding, if you don't mind. Read it, and you'll see. You will, if it's so important to Here, we were both at Pomplona during a fiesta. Yes, when the bulls are allowed the freedom of the streets and the youngsters go after them fearless completely. Ever see it? Most exciting. Well then, I closed the back door that led to the patio and saw Consuelo in the arms of Luis, who was still excited over his victory in the arena. She looked radiant. And her lips, each time they withdrew from the mouth of Luis, whispered sweet, tender words, soft and indistinct. At my entrance, she turned and her eyes looked straight into mine. It was like a melting embrace. See how colorful the style is. She smiled and blew me a kiss, by which she meant that even in the arms of another, she was mine, and mine only forever. Unfaithfulness had become a state of grace in which we felt a more perfect union. At that moment, Abel appeared. And what did Abel do? Read it and find out. Is all the rest in this colorful style? My husband and I were never afraid of what was prohibited. Now, don't tell me this doesn't interest you, preferring what is banal. Common little adventures. I believe you don't, but that's your affair. I only wanted you to know that these pages contain the tenderest expression of feeling that man could dedicate to the woman he loves. Are all the manuscripts about you? They begin with our encounter in Spain. I was 16, the world was mine. But like all things, beauty fades, but I don't regret anything. I face the sunset with serenity. Well, I must confess, I'm interested in eroticism, but not in an archaeological sense. I ought to go. Madame, what is it? Dr. Wilson, please. It's Sergio Logan. Marco, Sergio, look, there's a woman sick here. Can you come over right away? I think she might have poisoned herself. I don't know. She took some sort of a potion and collapsed. Oh, the hell with the police. You come over. It's a palace on the Lago del Moro. Uh -huh. I'll wait for you. Goodbye. Madame Loretti, what have you done? What was in this? Go away. I'm better. Go away. I'm better. Can't you see I'm better? I'll try and get somebody. Don't call anybody. I'm better. I'm all right.
Good evening. You want to know who I am? My name is Aura. I'm her daughter. Signora Llorente. Your mother's not feeling well. She's over in there. It's nothing serious. She drank something and fainted. It often happens. I've already called a doctor. A friend of mine. This is the cup she drank from. For some time I suspected my mother takes drugs. It's only an impression, but I pity her. It must be difficult to grow old when you've been a famous beauty. Will you help me bring her to her bedroom? Her room's here. She'll come out of it before long. She's the dearest, sweetest person in the world. How fresh your skin remains. Thirty years ago, you'd have fallen madly in love with my mother. I'd prefer to run the risk with her daughter. We all love risk in words. But do you love it in fact? Do you want me to prove? Come, we'll let her rest. What will you do now? Go away? Actually, I was looking for an excuse to stay. Perhaps I can wait for my friend the doctor to arrive. Meanwhile... I might show you the rest of the house if that would interest you. Anything interesting apart from you? How about the chapel? Centuries ago, a pope celebrated the funeral rites of one of my mother's ancestors. He was a cardinal, you see. And your father? He was the Mexican ambassador to Rome for many years. But he'd met my mother in Seville. Well, it's a pity to let her go to rack and ruin like this. It costs too much to have it repaired. We're not very rich. And perhaps you waste too much money. Librarians, following people. Half the palace has been stripped by creditors. You see, my mother has spent a fortune going to clinics all over Europe, especially in Switzerland. The Swiss are specialists. In squeezing money out of you. <laughs> no, in combating old age. You see, my mother won't surrender to time. That's funny. She told me exactly the opposite before. She was lying. She was lying like all people without age. Have you ever stopped to think how interesting it must be to be a confessor? Such inside of people. God only knows the things this great has heard. You've the same pretty way of leaning your head on one shoulder. Who? Your mother and you. Your movements are more similar than your looks. We have absolutely nothing in common. Nothing. What else would you like to see now? Your room. Perhaps later. <laughs> did you really believe my mother wanted to seduce you before? Well, how did you know that? Spying on us or... Does that sort of thing amuse you? Hmm? Very much. I'm curious. Come, I'll have you see the garden. Now, did you like my scene with your mother? Amusing enough, especially when your face was filled with terror. You also know why I'm here? Because of the ad, and you turned it down. Are you sorry? Yes. <laughs> now, can you give me any better reasons than your mother did why I should take the job? Perhaps. What are they? Good food. I'm on a diet. Peace, tranquility, and silence. I'm claustrophobic. A lovely room facing south. My constellation's the North Star. But the room's next to mine. You keep the door locked? No. My door is never locked. That's the first positive argument. There are others. 
There's only one important thing, and that's for you to try to be like your mother when she was young, in temperament. I see my mother's made a great impression on you. My mother brought the seeds of these plants from Mexico. She makes a kind of tea with it. She drank it before. Mother refuses to sell the palace because of the greenhouse. She's afraid the plants won't grow anywhere else. So long as I'm here, I'll bring her a few. They got over the wall again. Chase them away. Hurry up, you've got to chase them out of here. Just a few stones, Erna. They made the garden. The greenhouse. Why such a fuss over a few cats? My mother and I don't know what to do to get rid of them. I'm an expert in plants, too. I grow herbs for cooking. Are you inviting me to lunch? You mean it's day? Of course. You'll find some yellow berries. Way over there. Will you go pick me a handful? Yellow berries. Why didn't you stay in bed? Uh, yeah, I knew the doctor was coming. Yes, I told him. I came to connect the electric current to the bell where I wouldn't hear if anyone rang. My daughter gave them to me. She passed by a moment ago. But tell me why was she so upset? Perhaps she saw the same thing I did. It wasn't pleasant. What? There's a dead cat in the greenhouse. Somebody tortured it before killing it. This neighborhood is full of the most awful kind of hooligans. And they sometimes climb over the wall to steal or to chase those poor animals. Please give me your arm. What's your opinion of my daughter? Well, she's rather different from other girls. But why did you say you lived alone? Because I'm jealous of Aura. And I'm afraid some ordinary, common individual might deprive me of her. You see, Aura grew up alone without ambition and without any vanity. She has no conception of the value of her own youth. Her behavior is infantile and disconcerting. Instead of expecting the admiration of men, it is she who admires them like that, quite openly. And she always seems to be in love, Lord knows with whom, perhaps in the abstract. And that is why a chance encounter with a common individual might even be dangerous, which is why I want her to meet a man of importance. Hmm. Well, come and fix the cushions behind my back. I'll wait for your doctor here. What type is he? Is he charming, at least? He's discreet. Now, he needn't examine you if he'd rather not. <laughs> you really believe what Aura told you? <laughs> no, don't you worry, I'm not drunk. My daughter thinks I'm afraid of dying. In her imagination, she sees me seeking oblivion in a paradise produced artificially. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? I'm drugging myself. Then why not, if it gives me pleasure? So you got yourself invited to lunch. So you know that as well. There are no secrets between my daughter and me. You can find her up in the library. Sure. She's in the library. Yes, she's there waiting for you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Churchill. No, I haven't disappeared. Of course I am. Think about you all the time. And you? Well, keep everything warm, including you. I'll be along as soon as I can. Now, it's something very amusing. gentleman is the author of the memoirs. Ah, your mother's husband, your father, in fact. Oh, excellent job. Where was it done? In Mexico. Very strange. Do you think my mother's abnormal simply because she kept the body of the man she loved more than any other? I'm sure a lot of women would do the same thing if they could. I would. Does your mother come here often? Yes. Stays and looks at him for hours. So, you were brought up here all alone with your mother. Instead of Little Red Riding Hood, you were brought up on these. Didn't your mother forbid you to read them? Why should she forbid me to? Quite right, quite right. Remaining here for lunch? If you do, I'll prepare a special menu, something erotic. I mean it seriously, with these old recipes. Let me see. Code a la main. No? No. Ah, here it is. How would you like this pheasant out of Lezinski? A pheasant well hung with white pepper and cloves. Cloves, too? Of course. It's an appetizing recipe. But who is this Lezinski? A Polish princess who married Louis XV. Erotic woman? I'd say. When she got married, she was 22 and he was 13. 13? Then I'll choose this recipe, pheasant a la Lezinski. But I'm not 13. My goodness. Imagine the effect that a dish of this kind must have had on that poor little innocent child. In any case, for your information, I don't need it. One never knows. Ah, yes. For a drink, we'll prepare this one. Pousse l'amour. Why are you doing that? Want to excite me? Yes. Want to make love with me? And without pousse l'amour, I assure you. Do you want some music? Music? Wouldn't be a bad idea. with you. But you must do it as I say, without touching. Without your hand. Possible. How do you undo the button? Please promise to do as I said.
long time since I saw you, huh? What day is today? It's Monday. All this time I haven't seen you. I've been here alone. With your mother. Happy to see me? Yes, of course. But you too. What's the story? When you see that man attack me, that's the story. And did you resist him? Naturally. You beat him? Scratched him? You bit him? Yes. You did? Yes. Do you confirm this version of the facts? Absolutely. You confirm it? In writing, if necessary. Excuse me a second. I was only looking for signs of scratches and bites. But there's nothing. Look at him. Quite handsome and tall. Prefers the women of others. Who is he? I have never seen him before. Who is he? Nothing to do with her. With her mother. She even put an advertisement in the newspapers asking for a new librarian. Uh, yes, to put a little order in this library. To work in this library? Am I wrong? Am I addressing the late incumbent of the job recently sacked? No. I haven't been sacked by anyone. And no one's going to. Who asked him to come here? It wasn't I. It's got nothing to do with her. I didn't ask you. I don't understand. Why did you even come here? I'm no good. You want to replace me. <laughs> no one wants to replace you. You know you're the only one I want. But it's not true if you told him to come here. There he is in flesh and blood. Look at him. That's all I've done for you. Fucking Suelo. Shut up. Do you know what I've done for them? You don't know. I've counted the spiders in the walls, the worms in the woodwork, the threads in the carpets. For many years. That's a pity. You didn't clean the place up a bit as well. Anyway, calm down. I didn't accept the job. Refused it. But he didn't refuse it. The truth is, I didn't want him. Is your mother the same opinion? She doesn't want him anymore. It's true she had him come here. Her impression was a good one. But when she got to know him better, she changed her mind. But you're lying on the bed, together. I must beg your pardon. I'm sexually very aggressive. I can't resist a woman. Now, wait a minute. So you don't want him? No. My mother had seen him on the street and spoke to me about him. I was glad to have him here. But he's worth nothing. Nothing compared to you. My mother's already told him to go. And now I'm telling you. Hear what you said? You're the one who's going. We won't quell anymore, will we? No, my love, Promise? not again. But you mustn't go away again. You mustn't leave me alone for such a long time. I almost go mad when I'm alone. And besides, you always leave so suddenly without saying a word. I get up in the morning and you're gone. Why do you do it? We've always been so happy together. What's the ending of the comedy? Now you can see the signs. One moment. I'd like to speak to you. What's your name? Sergio Logan. Sergio Logan. Listen, Senor Logan, will you tell me whether it was the senor or the old woman who told you to go away? Or whether it was you who wouldn't accept the job? What's the difference? Big difference to me. Please answer. Uh, it was the senora. Yes, she changed her mind. So you have to put me at ease? For God's sake. Yes, I know you think I'm crazy. But it's a pity not telling the truth, believe me. I'm sorry. Listen. Hmm? Thanks. Did the old woman have anything to say about me? <laughs> Nothing good if you want to know the truth. She hates me, huh? <laughs> but she doesn't know how I hate her. She's really quite loathsome when you first meet her, isn't she? So why don't you take the girl, take the old lady to look after the books? Not that simple. Uh, I've been wondering how one with such a stupendous girl like Gower on his hands has such a mm, unsatisfied air about him. Oh, so you wonder. Well, go on. I've got an idea about the old lady, but I hope it's not true for your sake. Yeah, go on, go on. 
Continue, continue. Go on and amuse yourself. Continue. Well, well, granted that I was a marvelous girl. If, in order to have her, the price were that, I don't think I'd pay it. I don't understand what you're talking about. I've already been sacked. Why don't you go? There's the door. Well, I swear I ended you ten minutes ago, but no, not at all. Get out of here. I'm going. I'm getting out. the doctor left about a minute ago. Uh -huh. I explained that he had misunderstood you. Arthur! Wait! Too many misunderstandings today, Madam Yorente. And the best thing to do is to call it quits. Goodbye. Aren't you going to say goodbye to Aura? We're sorry to see you leave. We hoped we'd found a friend in you. A moment ago, I lied to you about that poor little kitten you found dead in the greenhouse. It was Fabrizio, which gives you an idea of what our situation has been. You can imagine our life, Senor Logan. Two women alone living with that kind of a man. There's nothing to stop you, calling the police and kicking him out of the house. He'd come back. Yes, he'd come back for vengeance, and I'm afraid. I don't think Fabrizio's as unpopular as you say. And besides... Your ad didn't say you were looking for a bodyguard. Senor Logan, would you do me a last favor? Would you finish lining Aura's eyes? Her hand trembles today. <laughs> I was mistaken. You're not what I thought you were. It's better to go away then. The Signora, what the devil's her name, told me you'd already gone. Did she? She stopped me in the hall with a smile and handed me 50,000 lira in an envelope. Pretty good, eh? You can invite me to dinner sometime. I couldn't accept her. She didn't want to be examined. Said she was feeling fine. But when I called you, she looked half dead. But who is she? I don't know. I never saw her before. What do you think? Crazy, huh? Mm, I don't think so. In these cases, I rarely make a mistake. My opinion is she takes drugs. Well, that's what her daughter thinks. And she's done nothing to stop her? She seems to approve it. Why don't you do something? The old lady might well kick the bucket. That's her business. Is the daughter pretty, at least? She was my ideal girl. Which is? A liar and corrupt. And you've already had an affair. No. Come now. A man with your fame, huh? Are you on the decline, by chance? Come on, Sergio, for consolation, I'll invite you to lunch. No, I'm busy. Um, I'll call you later. Ciao. Ciao. Morning. I'm uh, looking for a pair of angels. Madam Urente told me you might be able to help me. Can I have a look around? Please, help yourself. You come from Signora Llorente? Yes, she's a customer of yours, isn't she? Yes, she is indeed. Or maybe you're a customer of hers. She told me she was selling everything to you. Did she? And what else did she say to you? Yeah, that you're trying to take advantage of her. She said that to you? That I'm dishonest with her? She said that? No, no, she didn't say that. But she thinks it. Yes. She's batty. Well, maybe she's not far wrong. I mean, to sell all the family possessions and not get enough out of it to... Tell me, enough to do what, sir? To live, I suppose. Why, it's years I'm buying antiques from Signora Consuelo, and you have no idea where all that money goes. 
Millions, my dear sir. Millions. Who are lovers? Spent for renovating her face, sir. Oh, I see nothing wrong with a woman trying to put off old age as long as she can. You're talking nonsense. She's already old. Much older than I am. No, I don't think so. You think it can't be? Because her face still looks young, but it's quite false. Completely reconstructed. How old is she, anyway? Well, she's at least 20 years older than I am. No, it's not possible. That's what you think. I was settled here before she went to live there. She was already old. But she has a very young daughter. What daughter? Paula. To my knowledge, she has no children. But who's that girl who lives with her? Never saw her. Did you come here to buy or to conduct an investigation? You must absolve me. You must give me absolution. You must give me a priestly Stop word it. of consolation. I'm not the right man. I'm not a priest, my friend Fabrizio. Anyhow, I know who you are. I know you. You're Signor Logan. There, you see, you know how to reason. Why did you come back here? No, no, don't tell me. I was sure you'd come back anyway. Friend, what's the matter? What did you tell me about? Listen. You and I must become friends. We mustn't play their game. Because those two are trying to put us one against the other. Get the point now? I believe you're an honest person. I've never been in prison, no. Would you be capable of doing everything possible to prevent a crime? What crime? A crime. You wouldn't want to be an accomplice to a crime, would you? No, I don't think so. Then I advise you to leave this place as soon as possible. <laughs> Let me give you a bit of friendly advice. Really friendly. You know what I think you ought to do? No, I think you ought to leave here. Really, go out in the fresh air. Sit in a cafe, have a drink, meet some new people. Forget our uh, lots of other women in the world. You don't believe me? Oh, yes, I believe you, but I think your passion for our has upset your nerves a bit. She isn't a girl to take too seriously, you know. Hmm. I get the point now. You... You want to confuse my ideas. You want me to think that our, uh, is attracted to you, huh? Well, I don't think that at all. You don't? No. I wouldn't bother. Be careful. That's exactly what happened to me the first time I saw her. 
I felt she was the only woman for me. Oh, now, holding one's own, is a problem, which is why she goes looking for other men like you. Listen. Let's make a pact, we do. But first you must promise to keep it. Depends on what it is, first of all. If I can convince Aura, hmm? Just once, with you, will you leave and never come back? Hmm? <laughs> You're serious. You mean she does whatever you say, like that? Fabrizio, come for your bath. Aura, right, don't you see he came back again? What for? I don't know, ask him. Why did you come back? I got the impression that maybe our conversation had been interrupted. Come on, give him a proper welcome. Why don't you kiss him? Why should I give him a kiss? Well, I don't know. You slapped him before, and he's still here. Be nice to him. Thank you. I'm back. I hope you guys are really enjoying this movie. I am very excited about it. I think it's a fun one. There's some interesting stuff going on here, so the plot's a little weird, but I am actually really enjoying watching this movie and the weirdness that it is and trying to figure out what is going to happen because some of it's not that predictable. But let me check the dating app. Let me see if I got any messages. Okay, um, okay. Is your broomstick double-sided? Because you seem to sweep me off my feet, but as a sense of wickedness lurking beneath. That's a weird message. Are you a hex? Because every time I see your profile, I feel cursed to swipe right. Swipe right. Okay, that was funny. Do you prefer your potion shaken or stirred? Because I've got the perfect recipe for a spellbinding date. Oh, that's cool. People want to go on a date with me. Um, is your cauldron missing a key ingredient? Because I think I have just the right amount of magic to spice things up. You know what? I like that people are responding positively to me being a witch. Because that's good. Are you into dark magic? Because I'm enchanted by your profile. But I sense some serious sorcery going on. A little alliteration. I like it. And I hope you're not afraid of bats. Because I have a feeling we'll be hanging out a lot. <laughs> that's funny. You must be a necromancer. Because you just resurrected my interest in Tinder. <laughs> you know what? These people, they get me. They get the humor. They get the jokes. I feel like I could hang with these people. If you were a spell, you'd be the one that keeps me up at night wondering what mischief you're brewing. I'm not sure if you're a witch, but you've definitely cast a spell on me. Care to lift it over coffee? Are you into graveyard strolls? Because I'm dying to take you out sometime. Aw, I see. It was a good idea getting on here. Let's see. Do you have a map? Because I'm lost in a sea of metal on your face. Oh, are you trying to set a record for most piercings in one profile picture? Because I think you might be a contender. Is your face a pincushion or did you just lose a bet with a needle enthusiast? I'm starting to get a trend on these ones. I didn't realize I swiped right on a walking advertisement for the local piercing parlor. Thank you. Do you have a magnet in your nose? Because I can't seem to look away from all the metal. Did it hurt when you got all those piercings or were you just really desperate for attention? I hope you have good insurance for all those holes in your face. Are you auditioning for a role in a punk rock band or is this your everyday look? I guess your motto is more holes, more problems. Do you ever worry about setting off metal detectors at airports or do you just enjoy the attention? Okay, those weren't as nice. Um. So I have more to go through. Um, the first group of people, definitely those people I'm going to um, contact back. And probably a fair amount of the second group because who knows. Um, if they agree to go out with me, coffee could end in uh, them regretting what they said to me about my piercings, which I like. So ah! things are falling off the shelf. Okay. Uh, I think we have a poltergeist again. Morgan! Poltergeist. That, so that's what she's been doing in the other room is trying to catch her. The poltergeist that she let loose and it's all over. But anyway, 
watch more, well, the rest of this movie, and I'll see you back at the ending. Well, this is it. This is my little nook. When I first came here, I didn't have a shirt on my back, practically a pauper. I had even been in jail. When I came out, I was penniless. The old lady gave me everything. Remember when I first came here, Howard? Remember, Howard? Won't you offer something to drink? yourself. Yes, precisely. I've already put the salt in the bath. Perfect. And I've laid out the fencing clothes. Uh, do you sleep in them? Oh, no, it's uh, purely for exercising. Because you've got to keep in shape in this place. Otherwise, you'll end up like the one upstairs, embalmed. I think the time has come to take my bath. Excuse me. No, he's not mad. He pretends. He's clever. There's one thing I don't understand about you two. You seem to live here together, and yet... He told me he hadn't seen you for days. Why is that? I've done everything possible. I really tried very hard to convince her, but she was adamant and refuses. 
Don't take it to heart. So long. Goodbye. Sorry. Watching us? I'm watching. Oh, God. Being a hero, Senor Logan, it's quite out of place, you know. Look at him. He follows us like a miserable beggar, the Senor Logan. Well then, shall we give him the big prize? Don't ask me to do something which gives me no pleasure. Aura, what shall we do with him? Fabrizio, whatever you want. Please excuse me now. Yes, my dear, you can go. Well, Senor Logan, do you get the point? Is everything clear to you now? Hmm? Yes, yes. Clear as day. You're a dangerous maniac. You've turned that girl into a slave, forcing her to live in constant terror. Very interesting what goes on inside old palaces. Ah, now you bring up the issue of morals behaving like all those who are people. No, you must see it's really quite simple. Aura is happy with me. I don't believe it. On the contrary, she hates you because she's frightened of you. You even frightened me a minute ago. I didn't mean to do you any harm. I only wanted to frighten you. Frankly, I'm not even capable of harming a mouse. Well, yeah, that depends on the moment. Anyway, I've made up my mind. I shall take the job. The job's mine. You heard it all was said a moment ago. We'll ask Madame Yorente. What is it? You looking for me, Senor Logan? Good morning, ma'am. How are you? Our is very satisfied with me. I hope you are, too. What did you want, Senor Logan? I've thought over your offer. No, it's too late. Tell him, Senor, it's too late. Too late for what? For the job, my job. Tell him to go away. Tell him he's not needed. Tell him that we two, we three, are happy like this.
Why don't you say something? What are you planning to do, huh? I was just saying. I'm the one who's going to decide. Is the pace out of factory? Yes. Mm. And you're willing to come and live in the palace with us? I know all the terms. Perfect. All right. But first you must get rid of this detestable person! Come on, go downstairs. Pack your bags Listen, and bring them wait, down. Wait, wait. Because don't you worry about it. Because you must listen. They'll go after you too. All right. Stop him! All right. All right. Stop. All right. Go after him. We must get rid of the body right away. Get rid of him? But she's not serious. She is serious. Well, I, I got to report it. But it was an accident. I did it to defend you. What have you got to be afraid of? We don't want outsiders breaking into our privacy. I've got to prove my innocence. I'm not a murderer. If you think I'm testifying for you, please forget it. I repeat, we won't have persons who are strangers in here. Imagine my husband's memoirs fed to the press. And the tie between Fabrizio and Aura, a public scandal. No. Don't count on me. And you? No, Sergio. But I did it for you. It would mean that you are giving me up. You'd ruin everything. Why don't you do as Consuelo says? And we'd be happy. I, I'll report it anyway. And you'll have to testify whether you want to or not. I have no illusions that will testify in your favor. They'll testify instead that you entered this house and destroyed the love between a man and a woman who were happy together. I'll be forced to say that you used violence on me. 
And you killed Fabrizio because he wanted to stop you. You two. Together. You wanted to get rid of him and... I was the means, is that it? Why don't you answer me? I was just a tool, wasn't I? If that were the case, we would both agree it was necessary to bring in strangers. That being the best way, perhaps, to also get rid of you. You can see we're both concerned about you. We don't want anyone to come and take you away from here. <laughs> oh, no. I... I don't believe it. I... No. I don't believe you... Do what you say. It was your chance. I was near you. I looked into your eyes. Can you swear you had no intention of killing him at that moment? I should have dropped you right from the start. Well, I suppose you've decided what to do now. Yes, of course. Your baggage trunk is too small. Put him in here. In my car. Supposing they stop me. We're both running the same risk. However, they won't be able to identify him if you do exactly as I've told you to do.
What did you do to your hand? Did you cut it? Was it the sharp stones on the rail bed? Maybe. I waited for you all the time. Anxiously. Don't say. You were worried about me. Not about yourselves. Also. Fortunately, everything worked perfectly. All according to your mother's schedule. <coughs> Why don't you want to tell her? Sergio, don't speak to me like that. What do you expect me to do? Jump with joy? You ought to feel very glad to be with me. What do you want from me? You and your mother. I got rid of him for you. What else do you want? Now I want you. No, I'm going. And don't worry, there won't be any scandal. The story's finished. Now you must forget everything. We want to see you happy. Be nice to her. Now that you have our full confidence, I must inform you that Aura is not my daughter. Then why did you say you were? Don't ask me questions, please. Cold. You must have left the window open, Aura. I don't think it's cold. Aura, go and have a look. I'm cold. Oh, 
There's always Consuelo's room. No, I want it to be in your room, in your bed. This is my room, and that's my bed. You mustn't mind if Fabrizio was here with me. You should be thinking instead how happy you and I will be here together. As long as you wish. Besides, I don't want you to feel guilty. It depends on you whether I feel guilty or not. And on you to make me forget. If you listen to keyholes as well, but now just take your ugly face away from here. Is that clear? Prefer the other one. Not here. I've prepared your breakfast this morning. Here it is, all ready. And I've prepared your bath. Owl is not much good at housekeeping, you know. Oh, I've brought your bags up. Will this do for today? Aura was feeling very happy when I saw her. And you? Are you happy? Yes, I'm very happy. But, uh, well, like all happy men, I'm afraid something may come along to disturb my bliss. I'm worried about that, too. The first thing this morning, I hastened to read the newspapers. Oh, well. A lot of things happened yesterday. And who knows what ideas passed through your mind even regarding me. Yes, me. But I ask nothing. I only want to see you happy. Does that reassure you? Very much. Start working in the library this morning. And take care of Aura.
very tired, which is why I got up so early. All right. Today I'm going to take you away from here. But this is my house. Oh, no. Consuelo, we'll stay here. You come with me. This is where I live. I don't understand. Why? Why do you want to stay here? Is it because of her? Now, don't start telling me what I should or what I shouldn't do. If you think you can, you're mistaken. All right, let's talk about it later. You put me in a bad mood. I'm sorry. I'm beginning to miss Fabrizio. If nothing else, for my fencing practice. I need a partner. Why don't you try? Come on, I'd like to see what you're able to do. If you're much better than him. <laughs> it's all yours. Stop it. You think you can scare me? <laughs> now, you listen to me. I accept you as you are. That's the way I like you. But don't mention Fabrizio again. But do you really think he came into this house, lived here for years, leaving no trace whatsoever? I don't him. Fabrizio was not so easily forgotten. I don't want to hear his name again. But he never asked me to leave Consuelo. I'm sure he stayed here for me alone. He was a poor, crazy fool, and he died like a fool. Don't think you're so much better than he was. Besides which, as a man, there's nothing to be said against him. Perhaps that's what annoys you, huh? That I'm able to compare him to you. Fabrizio, huh? You won't do the same to me. You'll find out. Do you want to be with you, like it or not? No, you're not taking me anyplace. I'm not going to stay under the same roof as Consuelo. She's an even more dangerous maniac than Fabrizio. Now give me up! I'm not going to give you up, and you know it. Then resign yourself to stay with her, even without me. What do you mean, without you? I mean that often I'll go away, and you'll stay with her, alone. I'm going to lock you in, and we're going to find out the truth of this, all right. Don't laugh it! Why not? I don't want you to! Why not? Because... I'm feeling bad. I'm feeling bad. I don't believe you. And I'm not going to let you out of here until you tell me who you are. I'm out of... And who's our? Your mistress. And why are you a prisoner in this house? I'm not to live like this. No, you've got to tell me. I've got a right to know. I killed a man for you. Uh, 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 let me go. Let me go. Uh, no. Paula! Let me get out! I hate you! I hate you! Let me out! I hate you! Paula, what's wrong with you? I hate you! Get out of here! Paula! Paula! What's the matter with you? Senora! Senora Consuelo! <laughs> Go away. 
Something you imagine. You must never lock Aura in. Don't ever do it again. I must be free to go away. And return whenever she wants to. Sergio, you're upset. Your clothes are all dirty and wet. Come on. Come. Let's go back in. You mustn't hate her. Remember, if you're able to see me and touch me, it's because she wishes it. Embrace me. What is this litany? <laughs> Get up. You're ridiculous. Why don't you leave, huh? Go and look for another job. I'd like it here. I owe you three months back salary, which uh, <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to pay you. 
you remember the last page that was written by your husband? Don't you remember, Matt? So, Joe, bring that manuscript back to the library. Now, these are his last thoughts. And Swither insists upon raising those plants in the greenhouse. I told her to resign herself to old age, not to... tempt God. One morning, I found her clasping her pillow and raving. She shouted, Yes, I've done it. I've succeeded. I've reincarnated her. I can give her life. You know what his last words were. Don't go! His last words were these. Who are you, Consuelo? What have you turned into? You frightened me. What should I do? Well, what did he do? Killed himself. get tired. The day will come when <laughs> he'll decide to go. Don't you be so sure. I'm sure of it. Very sure. I am counting on it. Come and help me. Why? Why do you do this to me? What, what have I done to you? If you might only see yourself. You're a changed man. Take this statuette to the antique dealers. When does Aura come back? Did you hear me? I said take this statuette to the antique dealers. Me? Yes, they haven't anyone to come and get it, and the money's needed right away. Come on, try to be useful once in a while. Uh, come on! Will you hurry? When is Aura coming back? Don't know. You've been saying that for a month now. is not here yet. Means she's not satisfied with you. Please. I beg you. Please make her come back just once. I must speak to her. But Aura doesn't want to see you. You have no more to say to each other. Drink it. Drink it. No! Let me go! Drink it! No, let me go! No! Yes. No! No! Drink it! No! You've become unbearable! But by acting this way, you make the situation worse. Why, you, you ugly old bitch, I hate you. But you be careful, I warn you, you be careful. But why do you want to make me angry? What have you got to gain when you well know only I am able to bring all her back? When? Today? We'll see. But first you must take the statue to the antique woman. My price has already been agreed to by telephone. Just wait a minute. But who is it? Someone I know. What's wrong with you? What do you want? Who told you I was here? No one. I was going to the antique dealer with my friend the decorator. Well, I'm fine. And so are you, I see. Goodbye. Isn't she your former friend? Am I wrong? I don't have friends anymore. Oh. What a pity. 
Why don't you go back to her? Uh, seems like she still wants you. Why are you going out so I'd like to enjoy a bit of sun. Are you coming back soon? I don't know. No, sir, they don't kill the... I didn't want to. He's the one to blame. You came here in answer to an advertisement in the newspapers, yeah? Huh? Yes, sir. I came here for work. The job is yours. Tell him to go away. No, no I'm going. No good at anything. I hate looking at the libraries. I'm going. Sorry, don't, don't go. Wait. Sergio, I don't want that other. It's she who wants him. The same thing. It's the same thing you told Fabrizio, isn't it? Yes, the same word, Sergio. Things seem the same as before, but they're not. I'm not the same. I've changed. I don't want to die. I want to live. Even without me? What is life if we have to be separated? Sergio, aren't you glad to see me again after my absence? We were very happy together, weren't we? Don't listen to Consuelo. I'm not tired of you. Remain here. Don't push me into the arms of someone else. Send him away, even if Consuelo's against it. Send him away. Do we always have to do what she wants?
hope you guys enjoyed this movie, The Witch or The Witch in Love. I'm not really sure which one it is. I like to go to the, with the original title, the Italian title. But anyway, I like this film. I don't know what the author was that mad about unless the book was completely different, which I guess I'll probably find out someday when I read the book because I'm into reading books of movies. So we'll see on that. I actually got some more messages while I was responding to the other one. So let's see if these ones are good because I feel like they're going to be nice, not mean. Okay. Oh, I'd offer you a rose, but I think you'd prefer a rejection thorn instead. If I had a dollar for every time I thought about dating you, I'd have one dollar because that's how many times I'm going to swipe left. I'm sorry, I can't join your pity party. I'm busy rejecting your invitation. I'm allergic to commitment and you seem dangerously close to making me sneeze? If I were a Pokemon, you'd be the one I'd release back into the wild? Wow, the dating scene is mean these days. I'm not saying you're not my type, but my type is usually someone who doesn't make me want to hit the unmatch button immediately. I'm flattered by your interest, but my schedule is already full of avoiding awkward situations. I'd love to stay and chat, but my mom always told me to engage with strangers who give... I'd love to stay and chat, but my mom always told me not to engage with strangers who give off runaway vibes. I've decided to pursue a career in professional ghosting, but I'll keep your number in case I need inspiration. I appreciate your effort, but my heart belongs to Solitude and Netflix at the moment. Maybe next lifetime. Wow. Okay, you know what? You know what, dating people? That is just mean and funny. That was for some pretty good ones. But you know what? I don't think this dating app thing is for me. I'm not sure this scene is for me at all. But I am going to send every single one of those messages to Morgan. You know what? Morgan is great at tracking people down and making them apologize to me. And I have a feeling I'm going to be hearing a lot of that in the coming weeks because wow. So as we're finishing off this movie, Witch in Love, I am not a witch in love currently. That was not for me. I think I'm going to stick to other means of finding people because the internet is a really mean place to exist in. Although some people are clever and I liked some of the first ones. So maybe I'll follow up with them. But also, you know, I don't want people that are going to steal my jokes thing. Like making jokes is my thing. And if they come into the relationship making jokes, I don't know if it would work out. But anyway, dating app deleted from my phone after I send screenshots to Morgan. But I hope you enjoyed The Witch in Love. I'm sorry that you didn't see more of us. This time it was a long movie, but we wanted to show it because it got rated very well and it was a fun one. So take care. And as always, we will hex you soon.